day four about to start. Just outside Tamworth with Mike and Peter in support group mode. Uh, this is the support car driven by Peter and here is the boot full of supplies including a day pack of fresh clothing and some snack bars and drink for every day oh and some blister plasters as well. Praying with the cross is like no other prayer walking. You're so aware of being a sign of Jesus' love and walking with his peace whether seen or unseen. Park the cross up outside uh, a nice little tea place, Greg's place in Asperton, just so we can uh, stretch our legs. We walk through rolling countryside in the bright sunshine, past old churches thanking God for faithful witness. We carried the cross from Staffordshire into Warwickshire and Leicestershire and crisscrossing canals and rivers and really aware of the changing seasons that speak of God's potential and future and praying over what God has in store for the United Kingdom as we entered into Nuneaton at the end of the day. We managed to get to Nuneaton and Mike and I have had a, a really great day of walking in fairly good weather and the, the usual comments and casual conversations uh, given out a booklet and uh, just encourage people about why we're walking with the cross. Uh, what we've been reflecting on today, I've been reading Isaiah 35 and it says in one translation, it says that God will cause a highway, a causeway to be in the nation. It will be a holy way and it will become a pilgrim's way. And I felt today that, that God is allowing our walk to be a causeway, running down the bridge of this nation, the spine of this nation. And it's going to be a pilgrim way because we're praying on it. But through it, I really feel as though God is raising up a spiritual highway across the nation. So amongst the wilderness and amongst the desert, that there's a highway being formed, a gospel highway of people seeing that Jesus' way is the way to go, the safe place, the place of prosperity, the place of fulfillment. So be blessed and we'll have more tomorrow on day five.